four points separated 10th place Nice from 13th place Bordeaux as the two faced off at the Alliance Riviera on Saturday. Patrick Vieira was having his problems on the Côte d'Azur. Six matches in all competitions without a win, including being thrashed by Toulouse to crash out of the Coupe de France last weekend. The Eagles hoped a good omen was that their last success came against the Girondins. The last league reverse for Eric Bedoué and Ricardo management team. Bordeaux had been draw specialists with just one league win in six. They started 2019 with a cup double with Domino's League 2 side Le Havre through to the last four of the Coupe de la Ligue, but crashing out of the Coupe de France. Nice tried to start the match in the image of Pep Guardiola's Manchester City side, but Adrian Tamez sold captain Dante short to put them in trouble, and Carabo not punishing the Nice backline. Well, goals have been a problem for Nice with just 13 league goals this campaign, and Mario Balotelli, AWOL, Italian, unsure whether he'll be staying on the Côte d'Azur with Nice. But Alessandro Maximan and Isan Sacco combined. It was the clumsy challenge of Bukasin Jovanovic as he got too tight to young Sacco. Referee Nicola Reinville didn't hesitate to point to the spot, just clipping the heels of the 21-year-old forward as he was going absolutely nowhere. Sam Maximum stepped up and took the responsibility and showed nerves of steel. Fourth of the season and tenth in the Young Confram overall with the 21-year-old just seven short of already hitting a century of appearances in France's top flight. Benoit Costiel, no chance. Well, a boost for Vieira. Frustration at halftime for the visitors with Nice ahead. Bedoué in conversation with Ronville at the break, not happy with the penalty award in a match of low chances, low quality. In their previous seven on the road, Bordeaux had won just once. That was also the last time they'd scored more than once away from home. But it was Nice who looked to get themselves further ahead. San Maxima, the bright spark again, linking with Sacco. Unfortunately, the brilliance of San Maxima couldn't be replicated by his fellow 21-year-old, failing to add to his first goal in the cup reverse against Toulouse last week. Nice unable to build in their lead, but the Girardin losing a fourth clean sheet in this fixture meant San Maxima's penalty gave Nice a timely New Year boost.